believe that there are some eggs in the nest. We're just waiting for some hatching. So good morning, Beatrice, we believe. Charles out fishing again, getting ready for second breakfast. Time now is 7.23. Well, SeaWorld is celebrating this summer with a brand new attractions, a coaster, and spectacular events every night. So Cody's standing by with some animal ambassadors and their humans with all the details. See, I think, oh, uh, so the ospreys, gorgeous. they live on top of this TV station. <laughs> yeah. that, where, I, oh, I'm sorry. You're the animal expert, <laughs> no, not me. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Yeah, of course. Who's your friend here? This is Turbo. He's a peregrine falcon. Turbo. And Turbo is actually the fastest flying falcon in the world. Oh, and really? bird, yeah. Yeah, so Turbo is with us um, because he previously had a disease that caused him to not be able to fly so great. Um, so he's one of our ambassador animals. Uh, several years back, a lot of these falcons got down to 12% of their population, the really? peregrine falcon, yep. And that's primarily because of uh, DDT, which is a pesticide most people are familiar with. Mm -hmm. So that pesticide was causing their eggshells to be really weak, and then those chicks weren't surviving. So we were able to change the regulations on those pesticides, and we were able to also remove some of those eggs, allow the chicks to form um, under our care, and then we could give the chicks back to the falcons and they could raise them um, so that helped rebound their population so they were at a point where um, they were almost extinct and we weren't going to have them anymore and now yeah. we have them back and it just gave us its opinion of that DDT yeah stuff. yeah that's, the whole yep. thing. that's amazing okay yeah. what else you got what else you got right. here here we go all right and this is izod oh, came from a yeah. different direction <laughs> Izod is huge. Yeah, so Izod is an American alligator, and they have another amazing success story. Um, so Izod in particular, he's about 35 years old. Um, he's going to get to between 11 and 15 feet long when he's fully grown. Um, and in terms of a conservation message, in the 50s, these guys were almost extinct. Um, and now their populations have rebounded because of regulations that zoos and facilities have worked with. Um, and 1987 is really when their population fully recovered. So so um, they've been an incredible success story for us. We've cleaned those waterways, and then since they were primarily hunted, um, those regulations have changed too, and now they've rebounded. It's it's pretty impressive that you could sneak yeah, this in did you touch from the left. I, I have yeah. not. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a big boy. He is a big boy. And okay. they, if you watch, yep, on their head, um, you can see they might, if you give them a little pat on the head, they've got what's called a nictitating membrane, and that's a third eyelid. So then since they spend so much time submerged, it's uh, since they can't blink all the time to keep their eyes comfortable uh -huh. like we do, they can use that membrane to protect their eyes underwater, Get especially out. while they're hunting, yeah? Well, I'm glad these guys are making it because they are fascinating. Yes. Now take it away, sir. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's scaring the bejeebus out of me. Yeah, he's a big boy. Bring on the penguins! <laughs> Yeah, and for the showstopper, brought his tuxedo oh, and everything, right? Yep. I would have dressed so up more well dressed. Yeah. <laughs> no, you look great. We put a bow tie <laughs> on him. Um, so this is Fitzroy. Um, he is one of our Magellanic penguins. Um, you're welcome to touch him right on oh, the backside. Okay. Yeah. So they're a warm weather species, temperate weather. There's more warm weather penguins in the world than there even are cold weather. So a lot of people are like, why aren't they out in the snow? Um, but he is from South America. Okay. So you'll find him in Chile and Peru and Argentina, the Falkland Islands. Um, and these guys are indicator species, and that means that whatever is going on in terms of the health of the ocean mm -hmm. is going to be directly impacting these birds. Oh, okay. So what we're seeing right now is that they're moving into different waterways than they typically would be. They're coming up a little further north, closer to the equator, mm -hmm. because the schools of fish are staying in different waters, so that's changing. So their populations are a direct um, reflection of the ocean health. Look to yep. the penguins. Yeah, exactly, penguins. exactly. Uh, we got some more animals coming up for you, so do not not go away, and we're going to tell you about this cool ride. You got yeah. a cool ride at SeaWorld. Uh, so stick around, don't go away. Beautiful.